Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children, available preferences, welcome to the Republic. If you can't see them at the range. And we're finally going to fire our SCT-19 uh, compact frame. Now let's remember we're on brown nails. We have a slide release. Uh, we have our pin. And our trigger housing. That's the only thing we got left from our brown nails. Uh, our tip alpha trigger head, our Johnny Guns, uh, return spring, and of course our SCT Magwell. But we added since we spoke last our tank down extended mag release, which seems to be working really well. So we're going to be using the standard. Glock mags for the most part, but we also have a couple of uh, P mags, courtesy of well, we know where P mags come from, and we're going to be using our slide from you remember our PSA dagger. So we know the slide works, we know the slide assembly works, it shoots great. The question is, is it going to shoot great with contraption options again? And our chest about so we're going to start with one, and I mean one single round. As soon as I get the bag, one round. Has this bit blow up on the first one or act hinky? I really want to run five more throws. So there's that. And I'm going to be running at quite a bit more distance than what I'm used to. Just fucking because. Because I can't handle and I'll do whatever the fuck I want to do with my guns. So. Bear in mind, this has never even had a round put in it before. So. Pray. <laughs> Didn't go bang. Now let's see if it goes bang. Let's go bang. Get a lot of back. So let's try five more. So far, I gotta say, it didn't blow up. It actually feels really good. Not bad. Uh, so, of course, next time you see this guy, I'm gonna shoot some more. But the next time you see this girl, it'll be once I start assembling pieces for my own slide. And once I figure out exactly what pieces and parts I'm gonna try and uh, I'll keep posting. In the meantime, hit me in the comments and let me know your thoughts. And welcome back back to our video. Uh, so I wanted to kind of wrap up and conclude a little bit. I also needed to apologize. A lot of the range video itself got cut out because uh, well, because I'm a dumbass. Let's be straight. Uh, I didn't realize that, because I wasn't looking at my phone, uh, after that first shot and I reloaded, I'd actually stepped forward a little bit and you could no longer even see the gun. All you could see was me. And the last thing anybody wants to see is me. Um, so <laughs> I do apologize for that. I do also want to give a quick shout out to a new subscriber, Tim, uh, who we met at the range. 
well, I meant the range. You've been meeting at the range. Uh, Tim, hopefully you're watching. Hopefully you'll continue to watch. And hopefully my videography will get better. I wouldn't count on it, though. Uh, but as for the Synchro Tactical 19 Compact, it performed beautifully. It really, really did. So, despite the blockiness of the frame, it really does kind of melt into your hand. And you really kind of forget about that blockiness. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I'm a huge fan of stippling that goes all the way up the frame. I don't like having these bare spots. You see a lot on the range uh, or in other videos, people that have to readjust their grip after damn near every shot and that's because there's not enough texturing but with that you can kind of see that texturing on the back strap there and also on the front strap that actually cuts in pretty deep and that helps out a whole lot with maintaining grip the texturing through here right up towards the top you get a little bit of Right up towards the top of the frame here you get a little bit of and that helps but what really helps is and you can kind of see how deep that is cut into the side there and right there you can kind of see and that really cuts in at the right spots so it cuts in right at the at the palm where the top of your hand is going to wrap around the frame and on the flip side of the coin right where your thumb is going to rest on it, uh, bearing in mind my tiny ass hands, it really cuts in right where your hand's going to be and helps you to kind of lock in on it. So it's pretty nice. Add into there the thumb ledge, which you can see from the angle there, is not terrible. And of course, they included the texturing there too. So as far as gripping the frame, the grip was really nice. It was really comfortable to shoot, and I really liked it. That double undercut there um, helps out a whole lot. The Timney Alpha trigger, with the help of the Johnny Clox reset spring, that thing was just... Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was very, very nice. It was a very short, very crisp, very clean reset. Uh, really, really easy. That Johnny Glock spring adds just a little bit, but I'd say only a quarter to, uh, I wouldn't even say a half pound. So you're still looking at around a three and a quarter to a three and a half pound trigger pull at max i would honestly be damn surprised if it was even that but it was it was really nice the uh, i forgot to mention earlier the cmc uh extended slide lock and that thing did really well i really really enjoyed that over the standard uh, uh glock release it was much easier to get hold of much easier to actuate um, because I, I'm not a huge you know grab the slide and, and rack it I, I do use my my slide lock there so really really great that tango down uh, extended mag release really nice easy to get to and even for a guy with small hands like me I really didn't have to adjust my grip uh, to be able to actuate that. So excited to see, well, still run through some options and trying to figure out exactly what I'm gonna do. 17L or just a 17 with a compensator. A 17L with a compensator would still be super cool, but having a hard time finding threaded barrels for that. At any rate, uh, it'll probably be a while. So we've got some other things that we're going to cover here on the channel. So 
by all means, please stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you next time out.